Hi and welcome to Nini's house. In this video I am going to a garage sale, Goodwill, and the Dollar Tree. This was a small indoor garage sale at a museum slash theater <laughs> and there was not a lot of stuff but I did pick up a couple of things. The popcorn popper was $100. This is half of a quilt, but it's beautiful colors. It's stitched beautifully, and I love the scallop around the edge. It was $8. This is a Marie Antoinette wig, I believe. I don't know what kind of plays they put on, but I would have loved to have seen one. So this is what I bought. I bought the quilt, a little cat coin purse, and a fan for my granddaughter, and I spent $9. Next, I went shopping at the Goodwill. This Goodwill was very crowded, so my filming is kind of weird, and sometimes my finger gets in the way. But, uh, I had to check out things in the sewing section and the craft section for my journals. I actually did end up buying a few things here, but um, no crafty things. There were uh, quite a few binders that would work for journals, but I don't need more books. I need to finish the ones that I have. I did find this really cool cat cocoon and considered getting it for Oliver. It was $5, but it was pretty dirty inside and I wasn't sure that I could wash it well enough to get the smell of other animals off of it. Of course, I have to look at the frames in case we need to make some more art, which we do need to make some more art for our gallery wall this summer. This was a very nice high chair for $7. The appliances they had looked to be in really good shape. And I did look hard at that ice cream maker, but ended up not getting it. This entertainment center record player thing was just beautiful, but we don't have any cassettes or any vinyl left, so it really wasn't something that I needed. I did consider this typewriter though and it was only seven dollars but when I looked up the tape that you need to put in it it was seventy eight dollars so <laughs> I decided I did not need a typewriter there were lots of toys clean and in pretty good shape and board games And of course, lots and lots of books. In the book section, there was also this Christmas sign that I thought was pretty. It says Joy on one side and Merry Christmas on the other. And miles and miles of clothes. I always look through for shirts for my husband, and clothing for my grandkids. I can never find anything for myself. No one my size seems to get rid of their clothes. You get a little glimpse of the furniture back there. They did have some nice furniture at reasonable prices. And of course, I forgot to film it. My husband was interested in a wicker patio set that had four chairs and a glass top table. 
it was $70, but he couldn't figure out how to put it in the back of our Jeep. I saw this cute little all-weather jacket, and I really considered getting it for Leo, but I don't think it was his size. It was in perfect condition and looked brand new. I always check the jeans for my husband and my daughter. And I had to look through the bags on the way to the checkout stand. Here's what I ended up getting. I got the Mickey Mouse shirts, one for each kid, a little dress for Lily, and a cute little backpack for her, a Christmas craft and recipe book, and the Corgi Poop game. I'll have to check and see if all of the pieces are inside. The dress was discounted that day, and so we spent about $18. The next day, I went to the Dollar Tree to start collecting up Easter items. And um, these are the things that I got. My daughter will get the big things for their baskets, and I'll just do the fill-in. I got some candy, some socks, some little games, and I spent $28, I think, at the um, Dollar Tree. Then I went to Walmart and got a few more things. <laughs> Most of these things I got on clearance. A couple of them came from the Dollar Store. The little card game in the middle was on clearance and those two um, finger skateboard things which Lily just loves they were also on clearance and I got her a Barbie doll and Barbie clothes that were on clearance and then they each got a t-shirt and of course some egg dye spring really is springing here I hope you all have a happy Easter. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.